12 days ago, Chris Street was the Hawkeyes' star of the game at Duke. Even though they lost that game, the defeat would become meaningless three days later when Iowa would mourn the loss of its favorite son. Chris Street was much more than a basketball player. He was a very special person. Chris Street stood for what the Midwest is all about, openness, uh, caring, uh, not afraid to tell you what he thought and show you what he thought, not afraid to be enthusiastic. And uh, that's the way he played, and I think that's why he captured uh, the hearts and the souls of so many fans and a lot of basketball people, too. Uh, he just, the, what he exhibited, I think, is what the, the best of what the Midwest is all about. Tonight, here in East Lansing, Michigan, the Iowa Hawkeyes play their first game since a traffic accident claimed the life of their star forward, Chris Michael Street. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. Points and rebounds and even who wins this game won't really take on the same significance tonight. What the folks around the state of Iowa have suffered in the last week is not about the loss of a basketball game. It's about the loss in the game of life. There'll be a lot of emotion in this building tonight for both teams, and a very important ingredient will be missing from the ball game. But the basketball season has to go on. Chris Street would have wanted it that way. Michigan State and Iowa's next. ESPN's NCAA Basketball is brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers with that fresh, pure, natural taste. Nothing beats a Bud. By Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? And by McDonald's. What you want is what you get. Guaranteed at McDonald's today. Breslin Center in East Lansing, Michigan. We get set for Michigan State against the Hawkeyes of Iowa. My partner is Larry Conley. Thanks, Brad. You know, I wanted to take the opportunity right now to say a few things about the Chris Street situation. Obviously, this young man is gone. He was a great player. As a former player and coach, I can understand what the staff and teammates are going through. But even more important, I'm a father, and I can understand what the families are going through. But if Chris Street were here tonight, he'd say, let's toss it up. Let's play the game. And that's what we're going to do tonight, because that's what he would want. We'll make reference to him tonight on many occasions because he was a great part of this team. But I don't want anybody to ever forget this young man. We won't even forget him as we take a look at the starting lineups for the Hawkeyes of Iowa. Our McDonald's starting lineup. And the, one of the two players who will try to fill in the spot of Chris Streets is Wade Looking Bill. A.C. Earl, Defensive Player of the Year in the Big Ten last year with Murray, Looking Bill, Smith, and Barnes. For head coach, Tom Davis. In his seventh season, 141 wins in Iowa City. For the Michigan State Spartans, if A.C. Earl isn't the best center in the Big Ten, this guy might be. Mike Poplowski, the big fella. 6'11", 275 with Stevens, Wyshynski, Snow, and Respert. And the one and only Judd Heathcote in his 17th season, closing in on 300 wins here in East Lansing. Let's take a look at the game notes right now. We've got two defenses here from a percentage standpoint against their opponents. They're doing very well. Number four and number nine in the nation. Val Barnes for Iowa at the three-point field goal percentage of 37%. Respert at 44%, one of the leaders in the Big Ten. So we got a couple of guys that can shoot it from the outside and a couple of defenses that will deny it inside. The oh, Hawkeyes coming out of their huddle. Two games were canceled and rescheduled for later in the season. This will be their first action since the Duke game. Iowa leads the series by two games, and they won four of the last six late at Michigan State. Iowa's upcoming schedule, definitely not an easy one. Michigan this weekend, then at Illinois, Indiana comes next, and there are the two rescheduled games that would have been held last week at Penn State, February 22nd, March 8th, against Northwestern. There's a man who's got number 40 carved in the back of his head right there. He's ready to come out and play. This could be a very good center matchup, Brad. I think this is going to be one of the better games we'll have in the Big Ten this year because of these two centers. You see the numbers on A.C. Earl. He is the leading active shot blocker in college basketball. Our officials, Jimmy Burr, Ron Zector, and Randy Drury, were set 
for the Spartans and the Hawkeyes, who split their two games a year ago, each winning at home. Iowa won at Carver-Hawkeye Arena, 77-63. It was Michigan State here, 64-53, and we're underway. Let's see how Iowa opens up. They play a lot of zone defense, but it looks like they're going to go man-to-man -man right now. Now they've made a switch, and nope, they're in a zone. Matchup zone. Good trap in the corner. Respert will see his outside shooting right off the bat. Now we said there were two guys going to shoot for three-point range, and he's the one guy for Michigan State. 3-0 Spartans on that tray. Michigan State back into a man-to-man, -man, a kind of a sloughing man-to-man. They're going to allow Iowa to shoot that ball from the perimeter. Val Barnes, who's on top, the best shooter for Iowa. Well, look how deep Michigan State's packed that defense back inside. They've really got five guys down underneath the free throw line. Earl over Poplowski. He's tough. And backcourt pressure immediately by Iowa. And the Tom Davis press, full court pressure. Just locking Bill Rowell at top, trying to guard Popowski. Everybody else had backed off. This is Eric Snow at the point. Not a big score. Still trying to learn that point guard position. Did not play too much last year because of Mark Montgomery, who was a great point guard for the Spartans. Popowski low. A shot blocking ability of Earl just showing right there. Popowski had to readjust his shot. Pretty tough to get one over that guy. He can swat him. And a whistle will have a foul in the paint and a push on uh, Big Mike. And he is big. <laughs> I asked him before the game, I said, are you heavier or lighter than when you were a freshman? He said, I'm down about 15. He came in as a 290-pound freshman, and now is a fairly well-chiseled 275. Take a look at the banging down inside right there. A.C. Earl trying to fight through that lane. Poplowski was not going to allow him to go through there. Randy Drury with a call from the outside. Both those guys will have some bruises sometime tomorrow. I'm not sure what the discussion about. It was simply a holding call on the part of Popowski inside. Judd's off to a Judd-type start. <laughs> Tell you what, it's been about a month since they've won at home. That's right, you got to go back to December 30th, their last home win. They've lost two Big Ten games here. That's rare. The fade and bearing it is Val Barnes. Well, Barnes with a nice post-up position inside. Took Snow right in on the block. Well, Iowa's got its first lead. Eric Snow played very well against Wisconsin the other night. They go back inside to Popowski again. This time he gives it back up. Dwayne Stevens will try. You think maybe Earl's presence is causing him to throw that ball back out without even looking at the basket? Could be. Have to watch that in the first half. We're going to try to focus on those two centers. Spartan by one. We're two minutes into the action. AC Earl short. An air ball, and you'll hear about that the next couple of trips down court. Here comes Michigan State. Nice feed. Poplowski and low. See, that time he couldn't get close enough to block because he had his body right next to him and went straight up. Difficult to block that type of shot. You need a little bit of room to be a shot blocker. Well, look how they have surrounded Earl. They've got three Michigan State players inside on him. Barnes, tough jumper. Foul on the rebound on Winters underneath. Brad, I just noticed something. A.C. Earl looked over at Tom Davis as we watched this play again on the inside. Look at them. They have surrounded him in there. A little bit of an elbow thrown, trying to get away from Popowski. A.C. Earl just asked to be taken out of the game. He pointed and asked Tom Davis to take him out. You got to wonder about the conditioning. They didn't practice until Thursday of last week. And again, this is their first game back. They have had very little time on the court. It'll be a factor tonight. We didn't expect it to be that early, though. Tom Davis has switched his defenses now. He's gone back to a man-to-man. -man. Let's see if they go to Poplowski inside again. With Earl out of the lineup, that would be my first target. Now look how they've got him surrounded. They've got two Iowa players front and back. Still got it to him. Oh, he still leaned in big and missed in close. Respert pulled down the rebound somehow. Tom Davis really upset that Poplowski was not called an offensive foul. Millard tried to stay with Poplowski. Five point Michigan State advantage.
Winters outside. That one almost missed everything, too. Snow's going to push it. First turnover of the ball game on Michigan State as Stevens couldn't handle it on the baseline. Kenyon Murray in. A.C. Earl's going to come back in. Winters will sit down, and likewise, Millard will take a seat. Michigan State does not play a lot of people. They only play about eight players. Iowa goes much deeper than that. They'll go down ten players deep. Well, we got Popowski out of the game. Now, let's see if Earl can take advantage of that. Barnes just throws it up. Webb, the weak side rebound. And he's going to back it out. Smart move. Smith flanked one off the glass. Stevens will clear it for Michigan State. Well, early on, Iowa shooting very poor. Try to save it and unable to is Sean Respert. So completely different looking lineups out there right now. As Webb is checked in, Smith, the point guard, bringing it up. Earl, Murray, and Barnes round out the Hawkeyes' five. Good Earl double up by Michigan State. And Michigan State, three turnovers in the last three trips. Nice speed, Earl to Barnes. And he's fouled. You know, oftentimes you get a small player like that, you want him to go ahead and press his advantage and use his quickness to take the ball to the basket. But instead, he got inside, and Stevens was right there and on the left side. Watch A.C. Earl handle the ball. He's a guard, 6'11", guard, <laughs> giving it up to the guard. Good pump fake right there to draw the foul. All those big guys think they're guards. Barnes will go to the line, fouled by Anthony Miller. There's the numbers on Val Barnes. This guy led the Big Ten in free throw shooting last year. Over 86% last season. And this year, around 78% coming in. Buried them both. And we've got a timeout. 15-39 to go first half. Michigan State holding on to a three-point advantage. 